my day. Ah, the golden age of piracy has not ended. A stout-hearted captain still sails the high seas. After losing an arm and leg in service, I still terrorize the enemy, the devil. Mighty Christian battling. I, Captain Hook, aim that all children have full share of God's blessings. Salvation through the blood of God's Son be yours, maybe. Every Christian pirate should sail with the Christian flag at high mast. This signals to the enemy, the devil, not willing to give quarter and no mercy. Give God your vessel, matey. Scuttle those old duds and put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ. Way anchor now, ye swabbies. Where be that fascinating treasure? Ah, the treasure be at the altar of salvation. Jesus Christ be the most blessed treasure to be found by wretched man. Avast there. Chart your course heavenbound. And remember, matey, beware of Christian pirates. They be out to rescue you from the sea of sin. <laughs> it was April 13th, 1960 in a small town in northwestern Ohio. I remember that day well. A rough crowd of motorcyclist headed down the highway. I didn't realize that tragedy lay waiting for me just a few miles from my home. A car pulled out to pass a semi-truck. He didn't see me on my motorcycle coming from the other direction and hit me head on. I was thrown into a field with half of my body almost torn away. I was unconscious and dying, but worst of all, I was without God. The sirens were screaming, the red lights flashing. They scraped me up and rushed me to the hospital to perform a very serious amputation. The largest piece of bone in my leg was only two or three inches long. My left arm and leg had to be amputated to save my life. Something happened to me in that hospital room. I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. The Spirit of the Lord tapped on my heart's door. I turned my life over to God. He gave me new hope and determination. And now he's enlisted me to hook boys and girls and to win them because I'm the world's only Christian pirate, Captain Hook. He's the rewarder of those who seek him. Some people think God's a punisher, but you know what we do with child abusers today? We put child abusers in prison if we find out about them. God is not a child abuser. God is a good God. Why don't you just say that out loud with me right now? God is a good God. You always remember that. God is not going to do you harm. There is a judgment coming someday. and tremble at the sound of Jesus' name. So, Jesus, 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 thank God for Jesus' name.
begin this very serious operation. This is called an autopsy. Have you ever seen an autopsy? No. Buddy is the only word to describe. I watched a real autopsy one time. I'd like for you to help me in this very serious operation. We'll have to ask that nobody move around. No, keep it real low. No whispering or talking. You could disturb us and we'd cut off the wrong thing. Uh, Fishhook, if you'd help me hold up this, this sheet. Oh, that's gross, isn't it? You ever seen it look like that? No, I haven't. This is terrible. Hold it up. Look, that hand. Look at that hand. I'll hold the sheet. You hold the hand up. Oh, no. Look at that hand. Those hands have not been praising the Lord. Those hands have not been worshiping God. Those hands have not been clapping in church service. But we need to praise the Lord. And the Bible tells us to praise the Lord. Hold the sheet up. Let's look at his feet. Now, the Bible says, you know what the Bible says about our feet? Share with these friends what the Bible said about our feet. They're blessed. They're blessed. And not only that, God says the steps of a good person are ordered of the Lord. Let me look at this foot. Oh, man, look at them feet. Huh. Where do you think them feet's been going? I don't know, Captain. Can you see? Look at that one mark. What's that the mark of? It looks like a beer joint mark, mark to me, don't you? Huh? Yes, it kind of does. Now, these feet have definitely been going places. It's not pleasing to God. Now, the Bible says the steps of a good person are ordered of the Lord, and we need to be walking where God wants us to walk. You know, this young man is in very serious condition. Bishop, do you suppose it's his hands? It's caused his spiritual death? Could be. How about his feet? Could very well still be his feet, isn't it? Yes, it could. I'll tell you what, let's move up to the head area. I'm going to hold the sheet. Hey, could you remove that eye? You got your saw? Cut that eye out. I'd like to take a look at the eye because our eyes are very, very important. Uh, cut. Okay, there. Oh, man. Is that, is that eye swollen? Looks like it. That eye is in bad condition. Now, the Bible tells us that if... Uh, if our eyes see something, it's like the window to our soul. And you need to be very careful what you look at and what you see. I'll tell you what, Fishhook, remove the ear. You got your saw? I'll cut that ear off of the saw. It's, oh, 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 man. Okay. All right. Hold it up here so those boys and girls can see that. Oh, man. This is really eerie. Him up like a ripe watermelon right down the middle just open him up right oh gross he's got some bad looking stuff in his own what is that what is it oh no a beer can hasn't he heard about how drinking beer wine and whiskey and all these things how terrible it is how it destroys and children don't have clothes to wear and shoes to put on their feet because of all this stuff this certainly has no place in the life of a christian right that's right that's right well what else is in there open him up just look, oh no, what's in there? What is that? What is that? Oh no, I'm just, oh no, look at that, cigarettes. What do cigarettes do to you? Well, they spread black, dirty tar all over your lungs, for one thing. That's right. Cause, they cause cancer. Cause cancer. They cause your fingers to turn yellow. And to cause your fingers to turn yellow. Your teeth to turn yellow. Well, that's right. And besides, who'd ever want to kiss a boy or girl that smells like a camel? <laughs> not me, that's for sure. This certainly is not good for our temple. For the final part of this operation, Fishhook, I want you to remove the heart. Man looks on the outward appearance, but God looketh upon the heart. This 
this is really serious, boys and girls. The Bible speaks. There's so many scriptures. I researched the Bible concerning the heart one time, and there are so many scriptures. God is interested in your heart about what, it's, what it looks like. Pull that heart out, Bishop. We're going to take a look. Oh, no. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Only God can take care of the heart. We can take care of the outward appearance, but God is the one that changes the heart. And he can come into your heart and cleanse it and make it pure and white and clean. And God is the best friend that you could ever have because he's a heart changer. He's a life changer. He can take that old camp disease and get it out. He can clean up your hands and your eyes and your ears and your entire body because the Bible says that your body is the temple of the Lord and we needed to offer it to him. Oh! 